to bring in the cost why the choir will give us a prelude organ prelude alone thank you
We speak of this world of this world Shouty big hallelujah. If you are here and you are you you are here to celebrate with our mommy, shout a big hallelujah. We give we give you all that glory. We give you honor. We give Single kings of kings and the Lord of Lords, we give you glory, we give you honor, we bless your name because we are a good God. You can give and you can take it back. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Without you, we are nothing. We are here this morning, Lord. To celebrate our mommy up your way in the mighty name of Jesus. We cannot do without you. We bless you for what I done yesterday. We appreciate you for the good weather. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Accept our praise in the name of Jesus. Father, this morning, Lord, start for this service. Come and have your way in the name of Jesus. Come and take control in the name of Jesus. In everything we are going to do to the Lord, just have your way, Lord. And take control, Lord. 
à coup de dévoûté ici. Tenke Fala Sido, Bresse Bionilo, in Jesus Powerful, we are praying. Let the church say better, amen. And shout one big hallelujah. Please, let's be seated a while. The next on the line is the Bible reading. Is the Bible reading. And uh, taking the Bible reading this wonderful morning is Mr. Anything. With Jesus' joy, please can you step forward? Bible reading. God bless you. Good morning, church. Our Bible reading this morning is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 14, from verse 13 to 20. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle, and another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that sat, that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. May the Lord make the impact and the deepest meaning of these words to be revealed in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Quickly, we are going to take and uh, calling on the son, Mr. Damala Sonto. Demola, sorry. Good morning, church. Uh, my business here is just to read mommy's profile. But basically, you can find what I'm going to read on page five and six. You're going to find my what I'm going to read from page 5 to 6, which is also our biography. Mrs. Mommy Janet Segilola Shunton Nidisoni was born in Ishagamu to the family of 
Pa Moses Adegule the son of Idarika Cortes Iperumo Iperuemo and her mother was Madam Efusiji Dorcas the son our mother was born into a large Christian family and she attended Methodist Primary School in Perulemo for her elementary education. She proceeded to Ishagamu Girls School, Ishagamu, and later she went to Teachers Training College, Ishagamu, where she obtained a Teachers Grade 3 certificate in the year 1954. Our educational background. Being determined to succeed in life, our mother was later went to school and obtained grade two teacher's certificate. In those days, uh, we had government government uh, teachers training school at Baja. That was where she did uh, grade two teacher's certificate. And when opportunities opened again, she attended Open University and Correspondence course in Education at the University of Lagos. And uh, I just want to say that one of our classmates uh, is Mrs. Mommy Folu Adeboye. And the general overseer was their math teacher. Praise the Lord. Our mother is a lover of education. And all her life she spent on educating her children and other people's children. I will say this that at the beginning, when we joined the Redeemed Christian Church, several of the pastors that were on transfer from their location to Lagos, my mother helped them teach them in primary school and secondary school. I can mention one, Pastor Ujo. He used to interpret uh, for Baba long ago. So that many, many people, even the children of the Jew, was helped to get in, uh, admitted to, uh, what do you call it, uh, secondary school. Experience. My mother taught in several schools, starting from Wesley Primary School, Okoi Shagamu, and our contemporary were Mama Leka Odubebe, she's late now, Mrs. Ebu Dutuga, and Mrs. Akinshete. She worked in at Salvation Army Primary School, Surulere. Model High School, Ido, Idioro Mushi. Alafia Olua Primary School, Ilasa. Islamic Model School, Ishaga Plus. I think that was why she retired. Uh, Mommy retired voluntarily in 1991. Praise the Lord. Our family life. Our mother, Janet Segilola Shunton, was married to late. Our late husband, Pa Isaac Adeleke Sunday Shunto, in 1958. And God blessed them with many children. Well, some of the children passed on before. One of them is Mrs. Dr. Mrs. Olubumi Onayade and Mr. Olushola Shunto. May their soul rest in perfect peace. Mommy has, uh, in addition to biological children, mommy has great grandchildren, great grandchildren. And our mother is blessed with many other children who are not of his own, of our own body. She praise the Lord. I also be true. Service to the Lord. Uh, our mother came to know the Lord between 1982 and 1983. Uh, well, 
I had given my life to Christ in 1982 in the University of Lagos. And um, and uh, some of the students there, we, I joined them and we'll go to number one cemetery room for Bible studies. That was uh, after I'd given my life to Christ in we were we going regularly. That was how I got to know Redeem. Uh, Pastor Kumuya has just moved out of the campus because he was having services in, uh, in his place on campus. So the focus was Redeem. Praise the Lord. And during my vacation, I did not invite my mom to come to the gym. It was actually <laughs> Alosaba Jesus. If we say they invited us, <laughs> it's not so. We ran to Jesus where we had issues that we didn't know how to solve. And uh, since we ran to Jesus, uh, God started working. My elder sister, Dr. Olubino Nayade, had given her life to Christ way back when she was at Udubulu, Federal Government College Udubulu, when she was doing her A-levels. And we all moved like that until today. Praise the Lord. So it wasn't that I dragged Mumi to redeem. It was cha the challenges that we had that made us to look for God. And it was, Jesus was the person we ran to in the midst of those challenges. Praise the Lord. Uh, my mother was, of course, the head of several schools in Lagos, a primary school basically. Uh, my mother is a foundation member of this church. Brother, I do it, we say yesterday, she gave a brief history of this parish and he was right because I was also there before I moved to Isolo and later to Ibado. Praise the Lord. Our mother was a foundation member of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Prince of this parish, Elasa Mushi. She worked in the church or parish as a Sunday school teacher, an altar minister, an elder, a counselor, and a prayer warrior. She was ordained uh, a deaconess at the year 1998. She was also an active member of the RCCG National Counseling Team. I want to say this, my mother never missed one Holy Ghost service until she became weak and she couldn't attend. There was no single one. She will find her way to the camp. It was when she became age, took over that she couldn't actually uh, take care of herself, so we had to stop her from going. So we got uh, television, uh, DSTV that she could watch. Praise the Lord. A mother's life is that of a caring mother, honest, hospitable, humble, loving, prayer warrior. Brother, I do we say that's what I call him, but I see he's also a pastor now. Uh, said yesterday that our mother attends or virtually, virtually all the prayer meetings they have. It is very true. As our majesty if you say invite, it's not invite, oh, we run to Jesus when we had problem. So I will tell you to run to Jesus when you have problem. Praise the Lord. Um, she died actually on the 28th of February 2004 at 7.45. We were trying to clean her up and feed her when she gave up the ghost. Finally call her, beloved mommy, Mama Tisha, Mama Olubumi Olorire, 
Grandma Nepa, Grandma Adio, Grandma Nepa, Grandma Tirero, Grandma Iperu, Adio Yadra. May our gentle soul rest in peace. Praise the Lord. The living Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let the excited. Let somebody shout hallelujah. This is Redeemed Christian Church of God, Prince of Peace Parish. The address of this place is number nine, Araba Baptist Church Street, Elasa. And our services we have. Our living day from Tuesday, from the hour of 6.30 to so 8 p.m. And our Thursday service, Faith Clinic, is from the same 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Maybe you live around this area and you don't have a place of worship, please make it a duty and come and join us. Or you have some living close to your place where you live and you don't have a primary place of worship, please join them. Then on Sunday service, we start our service by 8 a.m. with Sunday school. Sunday school is the place where we learn the word of God so that we can grow thereby. We have heard a lot about our mommy. She loves the word and she studied the word of God. And it's only the word that can keep us. And from there after Sunday school, we move into other services. Also, every first Friday of the month, we have a program at Redemption City, Holy Ghost Service. If you have been there before, you will testify that you can't go there and remain the same. Another edition will be coming up in May. Let's avail ourselves to be there. Apart from all these services, the greatest service can happen anytime. And that is reigning with the Lord. The Lord can come anytime. Are you prepared to meet with your maker? It is very important. And the clarion call is that every one of us, we should be prepared for that day. Our mother has done her part and she was prepared. It's left for you and I to be prepared for that great day. And the Lord will bless us even as we do that in the name of Jesus. Any other announcement in the course of the service shall be disseminated to you. Praise the Lord. Now, before as our choir give the special numbers, um, we want to confirm if uh, RCCG elders from Trinity Parish in Ibadan already are they already available? Because they have a special number. Are they, have they arrived, Ma? The elders from Trinity. Okay, please get ready after now for your special number. Fire, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mama spent 92 years. 93, sorry. I remember that this, that's where Mama used to sit down, that corner. not here. She's somewhere there. Many of us would have come this morning, but because of our offices. So we want to invite the RCCG
<laughs> people don't say that you are anyone because of course for mama to have gone to come with us it was a kudos mama never had any quarrel with anybody in this church cause me mama will celebrate grace over your life once she discover you she was the first person that picked me up that is mama for you so we, we want to celebrate her she was a good mother let's turn our hands together with jesus showing my hands we want to welcome to the podium to hear the bread of life to listen to the bread of life join our hands together join your hands together to welcome jesus in his world through our father and the lord the pastor in charge of and the assistant pastor in charge of province csr pastor Bob's. Okay, you can do better than that for Jesus. Let's celebrate Greece. Let's celebrate Greece. Let's celebrate Greece. Let's celebrate Greece. Praise the Lord. Now, if all that is for me, you got it wrong. Who am I? But if you want to clap for Jesus, come on, clap like Jesus. Before I go on, let me stand on the existing protocols and add just a few. I want to thank God for the life of the Reverend Gentleman in our midst. Please just sit down. I'm talking about the right Reverend Ayo Oyadoko. Now, when we met yesterday, sit down, sir. When we met yesterday, because uh, how do I, we are quite busy, uh, we didn't see one another very well. Ma. It was only this morning when he came into my office and uh, he, she, he saw my wife and said, ah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There is someone, uh, I will say my family had a relationship with him. For nearly a decade. Uh, when he was uh, the champion at uh, the Christ, uh, Christ Chapel, the uh, Chapel of Christ the Light at Alausa, and because of the duties of my wife, in fact, my wife was uh, in the governing board of that church, because all the co-curricular activities in Lagos State came under her. Ah. So she had to relate with him so much. I want to come and tell me about this wonderful gentleman, this reverend, uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. And the Lord behold, he came to this place yesterday. And then today, the veil was removed and then he was able to interact with my wife. It's a lesson there, brethren. Uh, whatever we do, let's do it with the fear of God. There's nothing hidden that will not be revealed. I don't know what I was sharing with you here. I went on business with Kaduna. It's about two decades ago. And I entered the bank, the Intercontinental Bank, then. And I was trying to find my way. A lady came to me and she wanted to help me to do a lot of things, blah, blah, blah. At the stage, I asked her, sir, ma, I, I don't think I know you. Then she smiled. He said, don't worry, sir. Go and say, once she had finished everything for me, then she introduced herself. That before then, we were together in one of our parish at Maryland, called uh, the Beautiful Day Parish. I mean, I was quite startled that somebody from Maryland could know me at Kaduna. I didn't know her. I can't recognize her again. But she knew me as a pastor there. The Bible said, let your light so shine before me. That they may do what? Eh? They see your good work and glorify the Father that is in heaven. Your work will speak for you. 
you are welcome again, sir. May the oil of anointing upon you never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will finish well. You will finish strong. You will not fail, God. You will not fail the church. You will not fail yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus. Second is that I want to rejoice with the family of Shonta. Shout hallelujah. No, I would have been troubled if all along when you have been coming to see us, uh, maybe Mr. Demola Shonta, I find tears on, uh, on, his, on his face or the sun. Uh, I find tears on his face. This is quite uncommon. I mean, what are you crying for? And then I will have called you aside. Come, come. Is it the Naira you want to spend? Praise the Lord. <laughs> because uh, you, when Mama passed on at 93, and you are crying again, brethren, some people who are born, they did not survive the second day. Some people who are born, they did not survive the first month. I still remember the first period Right, I had to officiate, I had to minister. I mean, we went to Bible College together several years ago. I'm talking about 30 years ago. And then I was called just this morning, that morning, that I'm going to VI. I never knew there was a mortuary at 1004 for me to conduct a funeral service there for one of my classmates, young man. We saw a few days before then, two or three days before then. And that morning, I found, his, I found myself before his corpse to conduct service. I don't think it was, it was barely 30 then. I was quite older than him. 93 is what celebrity. May I ask the whole family, rise up with your feet with your respect. Jump on your feet. And just shout a big hallelujah. your own. I want you to shout this hallelujah that the end of this video will hear your voice. Let somebody praise the Lord. Let's clap for Jesus. Please sit down. I hope you know I'm not the one that got you up. I stand on the mandate of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I rejoice with you. Like they will say, I let you shout you. It's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. Uh, that our song says, we grow and wither, but not change the thing at the Almighty. We wither like leaves on the tree. I mean, let me tell you something, brethren. Like my dad told me when I came of age, he called me, he said to me, I said, sir. <laughs> he said, sit down. I sat beside him. He said, there's nothing that is starting in the world except one thing. He said, the only thing that is certain is that everybody will die. I know it's a message I can never forget. And so when he was 70, approaching 70, he called me today. I said, sir, go and get my vote ready. I said, yes, sir. For a long time after that, I didn't do anything. And then something, something else happened, just called me. He said, where did, have you gotten the vote? I said, yeah, but... I, I said, go on, get it ready. I was more than 20 years before he died. Tell your neighbor, talk to him, say neighbor. neighbor. Say very well, neighbor. neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Surely, Surely. You, will die you will die one day. That's a hard one to take a bit. Tell your the other neighbor on, your, on the other side. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Jack is a neighbor. You will die one day. Hallelujah. And it comes to the church of God. When you hear, one of the things that pain me is that I didn't know, Mama. The two of us would have made a very formidable team. It has been testimonies upon testimony. And so, it is very apparent that I'm going to see my mind in heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I don't know about you, one thing I'm the race I'm running is that I want to make heaven. It is apparent 
My mind is in heaven. Going by what you have heard, going by our works, the testimony, Mama is in heaven. And so, the church of God, what we are celebrating this morning is just a reminder that what you are doing for Mama, we are going to do for you one day. Praise the Lord. What we are doing, we are going to pray for you one day. And it's a good thing. Because the Bible says the end of the thing is better than the beginning of it. What we are witnessing this morning is glorious. And I pray that for you and for me, the same thing will happen days, years after now in the name of Jesus. Uh, come on, show. I can't hear your amen. amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Say a louder, amen. amen. If you have your Bible and the media, please help us to Luke chapter 16, verse 26. Luke chapter 16, verse 26. I need an usher here, please. Are we there? I said there will be a healing here today. I said there will be healing here this morning. You know why? Suddenly I can't find my glasses. It means that Jesus wants to hear my voice. <laughs> Do I agree to that? Say amen to that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, it says, and beside, thank you. It says, and beside all things, between us and you, there is a great call fixed so that they which will pass from us to who cannot, neither can they pass to us. That I will call from us to you. I think so. Thank you very much. Let's bow down our heads. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to thank you. Thank you, the Almighty God. Thank you, the God that knows all things. Thank you, the God of time and season. We are exalted. I ask that this morning I will reduce and that you will increase in this place. I also ask, Lord, that your word will come out with power and understanding. Because the word says the, the entrance of your word give it light and it give it understanding to the simple. Please this one is in source. Restore the backsliders. In the sea. Set the captive free and bless your people. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. As somebody said, we are not money. We have come to celebrate life. You will celebrate in the name of Jesus. If you want to title this short message, you can say, A Great Curve Fixed. A Great Curve Fixed. That's what Father Abraham said here. He said, That's a great curve that has been fixed. It cannot change. Now, brethren, the first of a story to a very great extent determines the veracity of that story. Whoever tells you something will determine how you handle it, how you believe it. For example, 
example, if I'm a student in my final year, and one of my fellow students tell me, or maybe I'm doing my PhD, I said, oh, don't worry, you have passed. <laughs> I would be very stupid to hold on to that and begin to rejoice. I mean, what if my head of the department of faculty had just because, oh, don't worry, you have passed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I think I can start to celebrate. Do you agree with me? Because of the position of ways. Now, this story was told by Jesus. And that tells you because it's the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus told us this story. So we know it is true. It is very very true. The second thing, brethren, whatever is happening today is the womb of tomorrow. As yesterday gave birth to today. In other words, your actions yesterday, the things you said yesterday, the things you did yesterday, to a large extent, determine what you are having today. That's why the Bible says, Select no man before. So whatever a man sows, he will do what? Reap. With all sense of humility, I want to say this. That when we heard about the person of Mama, we determined that we are going to give her the best burial. I came to know that Mama carried a pan with her head. I was informed that the first person to drop a million for the construction of this church came from the Shonton family. Hallelujah. I came to know that not only was my mind on the school teacher, but when it's on the school teacher, ministers very well, my mom will bring something out and give to that. At least I have somebody you all can be a witness. So, Mrs. Strackling, are you here? What I said is true. Shout hallelujah. My mom was, uh, to use it for what or better word, she was a reckless giver in the hands of God. She wanted to touch life positively, and she was never tired. So, we choose that. We are going to indulge the children. <laughs> like we are going to indulge the children. We just want them to come. And then the hospitality, we are going to roll it out in full. We are going to celebrate her. Because of what she had done in the past. Like I said, he paid me. I didn't know her. Uh, those who know me here, yeah, they'll know that that will be a formidable thing. Praise the Lord. When somebody is good with me, I go to the rooftop and shout, this is good. But when you are bad, <laughs> praise the Lord, I will come against you with a double barrel gun. Praise the Lord, Mama is good. Mama is good. So once again, I congratulate the children. You come from a good mother. Let somebody praise the Lord again. Let somebody praise the Lord. Brethren, the story we read, the rich man and Lazarus. You see, here you have a rich man. He lived a life of no impact. He didn't touch any life. Not to stand his stupendous world. He was so rich, so influential, he lacked nothing. And yet, every day, he saw this beggar, he saw this poor man, this sick man, and he did nothing about it. Well, somebody must say, eh? So, somebody have said, yeah, so, it's why right. my supposed to be giving you my money. You know the story of Naba in First Samuel? Naba, whose name was a fool. I don't want to go to that. You will ask, what is the offense of this rich man? He 
didn't mention his name, so it could have been anybody. Know these brethren, they are seeds of commission. What you committed, and seeds of omission. This man committed a sin of omission. I remember that Sunday school song. Any can you Lati se irawo fun o na le ni keji re whatever you have brethren that just a caretaker mama will do this and use it effectively this man in the story refused to do the needful in the process of time, he died. And also, this poor man died. Ah, if he's still, ah, maybe Lazarus also still. No, no, no. I disagree with you. Because of want of time, I don't want us to go to the scripture again. This man, Lazarus, he did not even grow the old man. Because the Bible says that he would have been happy even if a crown, crown from the people of this man come to him. He was not envious of the man. He didn't wish him evil. He just comes. He was sick. He didn't wish the old the rich man to be sick. He was poor. He was lonely. He was rejected. One of the problems we have today is the lack of love. In the church of God, the professor who, who married uh, Mama's first daughter that is me said something about it. Even among the family, like that family, there's no love. You should not be surprised. This is the your signs. But within the body of Christ, with you and me, let us make a change. Let's touch life. Whatever you may do, whatever you have to do, beloved, is for a short time. The Bible says, man that is born of a woman, has what was? Full peace to live. Full peace to live. Now where we started, it is something you are going to die. My prayer is that you are not going to die before your time. Let's give an account of every day. Every day. Whichever side, if you are rich, you are comfortable. Remember your neighbor. Touch lives. If unfortunately things are not the way you want, don't worry. One thing about death is this. Death is the final era. Hello? That is what? The final healer. Don't grow general. Don't be bitter against anybody. Because I don't have a place to watch for me. That reminds me again of that song. My primary school song is this. Roll, Jordan, roll. Roll, Jordan, roll. I want to go to heaven when I die. So yeah, I'll Jordan Road. My father, have you been here? Yes, my Lord. A city in the kingdom. So yeah, I'll Jordan Road. I'm a lot of men, not a bit there physically. But three things, three revelations have been guiding my walk with the Lord in the last couple of years, over 10 years ago, when the Lord showed me the revelation of the rapture. In me, brethren, the coming of the Lord is nearer than you think. How do I know? Hear me. We just celebrated Easter. I mean, that day the Lord rose. Did he rise up in the evening? Did he rise up in the night? In the wee hour of the morning, the Lord rose. Before it was daybreak on the third day, 
Hello. This is year 21, 24. This is the fourth millennium. This is the early part of the millennium. When the Lord says, a thousand years is like what? One day. <laughs> is somebody listening? Is somebody listening? The coming of the Lord is nearer than you think. Any moment from now, the trumpet will sound, the Son of God will appear. And let me tell you the second thing he showed me. He showed me what will happen when the Antichrist takes over. The reign of the Antichrist, nobody can survive it without the will of the Antichrist. He showed me. I can say I'm sharing it with my church. I mean, when you saw the abomination, the evil, one of the evil he showed me, just like the man outside there has displayed his spears, or the Alakara displayed the Akara in Shogla, they were displaying pornography. Abomination, publicly, and carry it about in a wheelchair. And then with two guys, all these, a weapon stronger than AK-47. Why? If anybody, even if you don't complain, but you will read cool and you say, what is this? You say, pa, pa, you kill. How do you survive it? The reign of the Antichrist, nobody can survive it. Except Christ. And then the third revelation he showed me that the grace of God he showed me my mansion in heaven. I pray for you, you will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. I say I pray for you, you will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. But listen, there is a great gulf facing. You can cross from one to the other. Don't forget your action today determines what happens to you tomorrow. What are you doing about your tomorrow? That day is coming. God the Bible says that it is appointed unto man that after this, what you are. You see some drunkards, some fools. Sorry, I'm using such a hard word. When they joke, that's when they get there, the angel will just throw them. So with fury, because of the abomination they have committed, with fury, fury anger, and as we throw them beyond the fire, the lake of fire, you're running. Praise the Lord. You must have had a precision engineering. Hello? What makes the white man, I mean, more enriched than, than us is because of what they know, the precision engineering. Everything is done with precision. If you take the door of a master in Nigeria and the same way there, you go to Singapore, it will fit. You don't need to, it will fit because of what? Precision, everything is done to precision. Uh, even if you can carry a market, nobody will throw you anywhere. You are going to walk there yourself. Everything has been programmed. Your work. That's why this morning, like we said, our message is not for Mama, it's for every one of us. It's a wake up call. If you have not given your life to Jesus, brethren, make no mistake about it. The Bible says clearly in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, they are abominable, liars, immoral people. So, say they can no party in it, can enter. But there's the grace. Today is the day of mercy. Mercy is in the house. Give your life to Jesus. Tomorrow may be too late. The time of going is not stratified. Not a uh, so time is for 40 and 45. Total time are for 70. Uh, 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 uh. He can leave A and take B. He can leave C and go to D. But it is very important that when he comes, you should be prepared. 
He says something in the book of Ephesians chapter 7. He says, when he comes, he wants to meet a church, a glorious church, only on the fire, with no wrinkle, with no blemish. That is church you will marry. How Pamela Radal, how Demila de Ugo, how Sibemi Mia, Bile Ugo, how Pamela Radal, how Sibemi de Ugo, how Sibemi Mia, Bile Ugo. I'm saying this morning to give you the work of God. Earlier, sooner than you expect, you will appear in the cloud. And even then, if it doesn't appear, if it tarries, you can be called home oh, any moment. As I begin to close this short presentation, I beg you, there's no better time to return to you.
blocking somebody's gate. But don't go alone anyway. <laughs> Amen. Don't go alone. Amen. Now the best prayer any man can pray is God. Don't let me miss your kingdom. There is no other prayer anywhere. For what shall it profit a man to gain this whole world and then forfeit his soul? This world is useless if there is no eternity with God. Because there's also eternity with the devil and his angels. I want us to lift up our hands. Draw me nearer. All eyes closed. Some people will take definite step, which is not a generalized step. Please, some people here, you have to take a definite step and a definite turn around. And that what was going on, the Lord was speaking to your heart. So now, are you not going to stop this wrong thing you have been doing? And your conscience is bearing you witness to that word. There is opportunity. Beloved, there is no one that God cannot save. And there is no one that God cannot redeem. But the devil keep deceiving us. Say, you, you have gone too far. You can't redeem anyone like you. There is There's somebody that God is witnessing to that you just have to take it on from today. Please, I want all eyes closed, all heads bowed. If you are that person, wherever you are, it is it's a personal matter. It's not a collective matter. Can you just lay your right hand on your chest and say, Jesus, my soul must not be lost. Help my soul to be. Help my, my soul must not be lost. Jesus, help my soul. While every one of us begin to talk to God and say, my father, help me to be end. Help me to the end. Don't allow the enemy to deceive me. Many have been deceived. Sir, a lot of things are happening. <laughs> Even those who have given their lives to Christ, they have been deceived into occultism, into all sorts of things. Can you pray to the Lord? Lord, help me. Help me and uphold me to the end. My soul must not be lost. Today, for those of us that we are praying the first special prayer, today I take it on. I take it on. I take it on. To live to follow Jesus and only Jesus all the days of my life. Father, I pray especially for these people that you have seen. <laughs> you have witnessed in their hearts. Today is the day of new beginning in your life. And I pray from today, the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus. That matter that you are taking turn from. And we are saying from today, I will just continue to follow Jesus. I pray for grace. You will not go back into them in the name of Jesus. I pray the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sins. I pray today that the blood of Jesus cleanses you. I say the blood of Jesus cleanses you. In the name of Jesus. And I pray the Lord writes your name in the book of life. I pray for every one of us here present. We will not miss ever. Our image will be better than that. I say we will not miss ever. In the name of Jesus. I want you to stretch forth your hands towards the family. Uh, and the children of mama please if you can step forward can you please step forward a bit yes all uh, members of the family and mama's children please move forward have your way oh lord have your way have your way lord I 
across the entire family and say, Father, let me hear you say, Father, we cover these ones with the blood of Jesus and we declare that it is well with them. In the name of Jesus, let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. Pray for them, pray for them. Pray that it is well with them, that the Lord will continue to abide and uphold them. You will abide with them and uphold them. He will sustain them. Whoever blesses you, send 
we do for the church. I pray the Lord will guide you rightly and whatever you offer, God will give back to you in three or four in the name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty God. Everyone here present, whatever you desire, the Lord grant unto you. The testimonies and miracles you have been waiting for, oh yeah, receive now. Can you shout the amen and say I receive it? Shout the amen. Hallelujah. Let's jam our hands together for our reverend, our very reverend. It can be better than that. It can be better than that. Have you to be a jubelo that we turn this service to a revival one? It is possible. Amen. Also, one of the things I want us to know before, while Mama was still active here, she did something that was very, very funny. But I discovered it very, after many years. One of our then, our Zona pastor, Pastor Kemuya, then went to a Butemeta, and then the regional pastor gave him a document of a piece of land. So when Pastor Kemuya was coming, he just dropped the document that it was given to us from the national. Few months later, it was transferred, and Pastor Rotin Lawa came on board. And I was so furious. How would they give us a document? And they didn't move your document there. Original, all the papers complete. I made my research only for me to discover it was Mama. That I went and dropped the document at the Potemeta. And I wrote it back to us here. A plot of land in the Korodu. After many years, it was then we discovered. And one of the other mama, kill is on a bimba softly and bad to help mama let me cake mama do After many years. Almost five years later, before we discover it was Mama, and she was with us, that gave us that piece of land. Let's celebrate Mama. And I can't count all that things. I remember one of the days Mama brought plantain to my house. She climbed the upstairs and left two-story building. I said, Mama, let's say, that is Mama for you. Mama will miss her. She was a loving mother. Now what we have next on the program is last respect. Last respect. Um, we want to see Mama before she's laid to the rest. So the copyrights, please, we um, open the casket and uh, the ushers will lead us on how we are going to move first. The officiating ministers.
upper body casket. to acknowledge Mrs. Adewale to give the vote of thanks. Let's jam our hands together as she proceed to the altar to give the vote of thanks. We can Shout hallelujah. Now we are almost bringing the service to a close, but I have the master's program.
Hallelujah. So we have the, the master's program with us on the altar here. Yeah? The family requests that in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, when we conduct barriers like this, we don't collect offerings of any forms. And that's why in our barrier services, we do not um, collect such according to our doctrines. But notwithstanding, when the family requests for a thanksgiving, there is a way we go above it. If the family could not be able to come on Sunday because of the tight schedules, those who need to travel back to the various destinations, we can reconsider, but with some a little adjustment. So we're going to have a Thanksgiving now, but why we, before that, the cost bearer will take away the casket into the vehicle, then we'll have the Thanksgiving proper. Now, please, I want us to understand that when we say Thanksgiving, we want a quality Thanksgiving. Uh, if it was in Orthodox churches, they would bring Mama's card and say, Praise the Lord. <laughs> but in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, we don't do such. Mama had contributed more than enough. But notwithstanding, I know if Mama was still here, Mama would have moved for us to have a boat, a, a coastal bus. I, I, at least people know what I'm saying. Mama would have said, oh yeah, Katini bus. So I'm challenging the seed of Mama. If you are going to give us a vehicle for the church, it's not a crime, a bus. So it is not just dropping up. So after now you go back and do a family meeting. That Mama will be remembered for a very, very long time. Most of us that work with Mama are no longer here, but the works of Mama speaks for her. That is why the pastor was in charge, could take up the responsibility and say, No, Mama deserves a befitting barrier. Praise the Lord. So please, Nikos Biera, you moved the casket to the vehicle while we have the Thanksgiving. Uh, please, uh, please, ma, let's give you a quality Thanksgiving. After now, the family will meet and decide what they want to do for the church. Praise God. Please, um, you are going to the back of the church. Please, uh, the Thanksgiving, this is the... All of the times, if you go through the back of the church, you come in and you dance with all your friends and well wishes. Hallelujah. God bless you. Choir, please give us the band. Give us a danceable song. God bless you. Okay. Let's uh, uh, please take the session him.
have the Thanksgiving, the choir will give us a danceable song.
Photoshop at me. Of the general 
overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, the Governing Council and the Board of Trustees of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We want to thank you, everyone, especially the family of Mama, Segilala Shunto. We want to thank the very Reverend Ayo. From the Methodist Church. I want to thank every one of you. My prayer is that none of us shall be missing at the marriage feast of the Lamb. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Very few days from now, I shall hear your testimony. And at the Lord live you shall hear my testimony. The next thing we want to do is to go to the cemetery for the interment. It is, in, it is necessary that the immediate family of Mama will go with us, the officiating ministers, and the choir, and then the undertakers. It's going to be a solemn occasion and quite short. Uh, it's not necessary one of us will go there, it's not necessary. But those who are directly concerned who will go. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. Thank you very much. Let's keep a clap offering to Jesus. Thank you. Uh, choir. Okay. Let us let us share the grace together. Let's say the prayer of grace. Please rise. Rise. Let's first say the prayer of assurance. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall be in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Look at somebody beside you that you like the face and say, Surely God shall follow you all the days of your life. And they shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Let's see the grace together. Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. Peace be unto you. Amen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 